Hi all. If you have seen the videos on Bayesian parameter estimation and maximum likelihood estimation, you would now know that the main job of machine learning is to estimate the probability of a new output value given some input and output values and a new input data point using a particular machine learning model which has parameter values denoted by rho. So this is equal to the probability of the output given some parameter values rho e which is the estimate and the input value and this estimate for e is basically given by arg max over all rho the distribution of rho given some input output values and how do we compute this arg max we do that by using Bayes theorem which says that the distribution of rho given x comma y is equal to the probability of y given x comma rho into the distribution of rho divided by the probability of y given x. So now here note that strictly speaking this should be equal to distribution of rho given x but that is exactly equal to f of rho so we don't really worry about it. So now here when we want to maximize this quantity this denominator plays no role because it doesn't really depend on rho. So this we can throw out and so this arg max is equal to arg max over this quantity and in the maximum likelihood estimation we assume that we have no prior information about f of rho and we threw this out but the difference between MLE and MAP maximum a posteriori estimate which is what we are going to learn in this video is that we do not throw this out so our map estimate which is given by rho MAP is equal to arg max over rho into probability of y given x comma rho multiplied by the distribution of rho and this is what we are calling the maximum a posteriori probability and the reason we keep f of rho is essentially because it helps us either in incorporating prior knowledge which we already have by other means or more generally for avoiding overfitting okay so how it avoids overfitting and what kind of f of rho you can choose for avoiding overfitting that we are going to see in future videos when we discuss specific machine learning models but here we are only concerned with the general mathematical framework of the maximum a posteriori estimate. So now we have our map which is maximum a posteriori estimate and that as we just saw is rho map is equal to arg max over rho the probability of output given input and parameters into the distribution of rho. Now like uh, earlier uh, we also know that our input values are not just one but actually many many so this is arg max over rho the distribution of rho times a product of all the input output values that we have in our training data so here again we have assumed that our input output combinations that we have are all independent 
which is a reasonable thing to assume. So again, in the naive base, we assume that the row values are independent of each other, which we are not doing right now. So like the maximum likelihood estimator, you know, dealing with products is complicated. So we again take a log because maximizing a function is exactly same as maximizing its logarithm. So this is argmax over row times log of f of row plus summation over i log of the p of yi given xi and rho. So now you notice this is exactly same as what we had in the MLE case and the only difference is that this additional term is now added log of f of rho and this is what we also call as regularization in the machine learning literature and this helps in preventing overfitting. So now let's go back to our favorite coin toss example and see how would this map estimation be different or same as our MLE or maximum likelihood estimation. We are going to see map for coin toss. So here again as you know we do not have the concept of an input because output only depends on the parameter. So here again rho is the probability of getting a head. The yi values are 0 or 1. 0 represents tail, 1 represents head and like we did in the MLE case the n1 represents number of heads and 0 represents number of tails and that in total is equal to n. So now we proceed exactly as we did in the MLE case but with the difference that now we also need a prior estimate for f of rho and for such you know binary problems where your probability uh, of getting 1 is in a certain range a certain finite range then a natural choice for this f of rho is the beta distribution okay so we assume the prior which is f of rho to be given by the beta distribution function which is rho power alpha minus 1 into 1 minus rho power beta minus 1 divided by some function b of alpha comma beta and this is known as the beta distribution function. So what this function b is I am not getting into that you can check up uh, Wikipedia but we are basically assuming a beta distribution function for our particular problem. So now our job is to substitute this in the map estimate over here and this we get exactly like we did for the MLE case. Okay. So what we are going to get is that our row map is equal to arg max over rho logarithm of f. So if you take a logarithm of the beta distribution function you get alpha minus 1 log of rho plus beta minus 1 log of 1 minus rho minus log of the function b which is a function of alpha comma beta and then you also have the log of probability of yi so plus summation over i log of the probability of yi which you know is rho over yi into 1 minus rho over 1 minus yi. 
and now when you take this logarithm this is this will give you log of rho into summation over yi plus log of 1 minus rho into summation over 1 minus yi and so summation over yi is just number of heads summation over 1 minus yi is just number of tails so this is going to be equal to arg max over rho alpha minus 1 log of rho plus beta minus 1 log of 1 minus rho this log of b can be thrown out because it is just a constant does not depend on rho so this will play no role when we do the arg max operation so now plus n 1 log of rho plus n 0 log of 1 minus rho so now this log of rho and log of rho goes common so we have n of 1 plus alpha minus 1 over here and here we can take log of 1 minus rho common so here what we have is n of 0 plus beta minus 1 so let's you know write that simply So now we get n of 1 plus alpha minus 1 and here we get n of 0 plus beta minus 1. Okay, great. So now we just need to maximize this function. So what do we do? We use again the concept of maxima and minima meaning that we take a derivative of this term and equate that to 0. So this whole thing is our function that we want to maximize and let's call it some function z. We can't call this log likelihood because log likelihood was only this part of the function. So this whole thing is the log likelihood plus the log of the prior. So now what we do is that we do dou z by dou rho and equate that to 0. This is again fairly simple to do. So I am going to leave the steps to you. So we get rho map is equal to n of 1 plus alpha minus 1 divided by n plus alpha plus beta minus 2. So now you can see that the MAP estimate is somewhat different from the MLE estimate and it depends on the choice of values of alpha and beta. So what we know is that our alpha and beta must be larger than or equal to 1. So when alpha and beta are equal to 1, then MAP is exactly equal to MLE. There are also other values of alpha and beta where MAP estimate is exactly equal to MLE but there are other many other values of alpha and beta where these two estimates are actually different because now we have incorporated some information about the prior probabilities. So now I hope the concept of Bayesian parameter estimation, maximum likelihood estimation and the maximum a posteriori estimation would be clear to you. So in the future videos, we are now get into specific machine learning methods and see how they work. So far our focus was on the general mathematical framework of machine learning using concepts from probability theory and Bayes theorem. But uh, now on in the future videos, we are going to take up specific machine learning models and methods and see how they work. Till then, stay connected.